Hello, this is Backdrop Designer and I have been working on some brushes and I want to show you how to make a cool little plant type of thing real simple uh, I've made one earlier called this little leafy stem and I'll show you how I made this so I've now added a whole bunch of stuff here reorganised it a little bit and got some new things in here called leaves and petals and I've got grass and stems so I'm just going to grab like this stem here and you can see it goes through different colors that we can define so I'm just going to pop that down and then I'll click on auto update so that we get the changes immediately and I'm just going to right click this green and this works quite well so now that I've got that I'm going to switch to one of the leaves here let's go for leaf 4 I'm just going to use my mouse wheel to scale down a bit. And I'm just going to uh, click that down and use R to rotate a little bit to sort of go along with a shape. And each time I'm just going to use the mouse wheel down. You can also use the bracket key to scale down a bit. And just plot that on there. And rotate the other way with E and scale down and just kind of carry that one a bit I can kind of make it go like that um, so that's basically how you make that and I just want to use the little grab brush here and just kind of go over that area and I'll call this uh, leaf branch one so the leaf stem leaf branch they're more or less the same thing and I can actually use that now to make some nice extra features and use my little branch. I can use X to flip this left and right and make a little kind of baby ones coming off this. And now that I've got another thing, I can grab that and call it Leaf Bunch. Um, there we go. So I want to clear everything, so I'm just going to go up to the uh, reset up here and just make sure that I also grab my colors. I'm going to turn that auto update off and you see I can go between the original colors and any new colors, but they're more or less the same. So let's just plot that down so you can see what I mean. So I'll put that there, that's the original, and kind of click that down and do auto update. I'm just going to bring in some different colors here. So you can see I can easily change the, the colors up to be anything else. I quite like the green one, so I'm just going to have it on its original color. You can also mess around with it, like blurriness, in case you want to put this in the backdrop or something. Uh, the cutout value, which you won't really see too much. Um, the opacity and things. So I'm just going to turn that off and just going to use control backspace which is the same as reset and I can start kind of rotating and plotting loads of these down make a little kind of forest foliage bunch like that uh, and if I do want to change the shape up a bit I can use the mouse wheel and I want to change the color a bit and just bring the slider in and you can see it's already going for these gray colors uh, what I like to do is I like to put it down first and use the auto update so I can see this change live and go halfway and now I can sort of bring these colors towards something else like something a bit brighter maybe stick to the green tones as well and I can even like boost those dark tones up a bit more. I can also pick from there. So I've got that. Now I can place some more in. Like so. And now I can go back to the original leaves. Um, which was these ones. And let's make sure that's got a whole new colour and 
going to make the odd little kind of highlighted leaf here and there. Like that, and get this nice little bouquet of uh, things. I could use that in a game. I can also make a little flower type thing. So I've been making some petals. So there's a petal there. And I'm just going to turn off the auto update. And let's just grab those colours. Let's make that a little bit more on the rosy side. And let's make a little kind of flower effect, just like that. And it does need something in the middle. So I could use pretty much anything for that. I do have some shapes and things here. Uh, or I can just hide something in behind it. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's go for one of the shapes. So there's a shape here, a circle. And let's make that more kind of like a yellowish tones. And let's put it above it actually. Doesn't quite work so well like that, but I'll place it down. I'll do the auto update so I can improve the look of it. I can also like fade some parts that I don't want. Like, I don't want that one. Have a bit of that and a bit of this. Something like that. So that's me now got a little flower and I'm just gonna grab that. Uh call it flower one. Um I'm just gonna turn off the auto update and bring it back to the original colours. I can actually undo those steps because I've already got the, the flower now and I can place this in various places in here so uh like I can always tuck it behind a few places. Um if I go to the layer below, I can put some in behind. Press X. Uh, I do want a little bit of color variation, so I'm going to bring on the random color and maybe a bit of random rotation. I'll just click that down and see what I get. I don't get too much of a change, so in order to get a little bit more color variation, I need to bring this slider up a bit. Okay, that's giving me just, just enough. And I'm going to go to the layer front. Let's do more random rotation. Let's also bring in the random flip X and random scale. And that way I don't have to worry about sizing it or, or rotating it myself. It's just kind of picking at random. And then I could always hide some of these up with more leaves and things. So let's go back to, in fact, let's store these colors just in case. So I'll just right click any one of these. Ah, did that wrong, doesn't matter. You can actually go back and get those colors by using plot fetching. If I do undo, it'll grab those colors again. I think that was those. And I actually did it through the random color. So if I do undo again, there we go. Uh, that's more or less the original colors and if I left click one of these I can store them. All right, so I can redo those steps just to get those back and I'm going to go back to the, the leaves. Um, I think it was these ones um, and I do have roughly the right colors but let's just bring these like that. Um, let's go original color Right, let's do that. Let's grab that one. I think it was closer to that. And then let's tone some of these up a bit. That's pretty good. Right, and I can kind of hide some of these flowers a little bit behind. In some places, I still have the random things on. That just helps helps that to work a bit better. So there you go, there's a little bouquet. Now I did go a little bit out down there. Um, now what, what I could do is go back uh, back in time by undoing to the point where I placed that. So 
we're going to place that one. I didn't place it very well, so I'll actually do plot fetching, undo, undo, and then I can fix this one. So I'm going to move it up here. And now I'm just going to redo everything by clicking this button. And I've got everything back, and that's now not lo no longer down there. And now I'm going to grab all of this. And I call it a bouquet, bouquet. I think that's how you call it. Spell it. And there we go. I just want to reset the rotation here. So rotation 360. Yeah, I think that's it. And there we go. So I've got a brand new sprite. Uh, if I look in my custom brush folder, I'll actually see that that sprite is there and I can use it in a game as well. So every time I capture one of these, I'm basically getting um, new sprites that I can use. I use them in a game, make up some new, new assets for the background, but it didn't take very long to make this at all. And there's loads of nice custom brushes in here. Backdrop Designer is a paid tool that's on itch. Uh, I'll jump over to the itch page actually. So I'll go to itch and show you that tool. Let's just jump over to the page here. Uh, also does some retro pixel shading stuff. I've got some oil paint brushes in there that you can stipple down. It is a plot based painting tool. You don't paint with brush strokes, you paint with plots uh, and using smaller assets. You can bring in your own images and plot them down and make up bigger assets and you know sell them. But it's only $3.85 and if you buy this it will help support me in adding new features and making future versions and improving on it. But I hope you like this. Check out the pixel mode and you can turn on the CRT effect there check it out in different formats just get an idea and you can play with a dither range you can bring in your own artwork and plot it down see how it looks as pixel art as well so it's pretty nice thanks for watching this video i'll catch you in the next one bye for now